we were going on a boat out to the outer reef. It, I couldn't have been f on the further like point of the earth, you know, like, and like on a satellite phone, it's like, your divorce went through. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like, I didn't feel celebratory at all. It felt sad. And I was like looking out over the water and going, my God, my life, what does this mean? And I'm, oh, sorry. My head and all of a sudden out of the top of the boat pops Matthew, shirtless. You ready, Hudson? And I was like, fuck yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do this. I mean, my son is 19, and, you know, the other day he was saying that all the girls he follows on TikTok are doing this thing. He's like, Mom, I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of annoying. I hate to say it. And I was like, oh, and I thought, wow, this has a life. It has, still has such a life, you know? Um, I mean, recently it's had much more of a life. People, I mean, because of the TikTok thing. Yeah, it's people are going mad for it, and people, of course, you know, I know you all want me to ask, sequel? <laughs> oh God, I don't know. I mean, not not in the not in the works, you know. Um, but it I think would, but it and I would always, work, though. Yeah, Matthew and I always say, like, if if there was a great story there, I think we would do it. You know, I I just it would just have to be a good story, and you know, it's. It's hard to make a good rom-com. I mean, I think people have this sort of conception that it's sort of F, like easy and, but to get a story right for, to make it actually work is, is challenging. Yeah. The, we had like five writers on that, you know. We, we, we had a lot of, we had a lot of drafts and a lot of trying to figure out, and I was really young, but very involved. And, and Linda Opes, the producer was fantastic and she, you know, it's like, it's hard to make them now with the series of things that I've done and the knowledge that I have of what works and what doesn't work. Um, it's challenging. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it feels really innocent uh, in a way, but it still really works and still still would, I think, I, I mean, just make it make a sequel. We all want to see it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine, okay. So, the, the other, so obviously the story is everything, the plot is everything, but the chemistry is the real thing with rom-coms. Tell us about how you get, kept, I mean, how, you know, how, how much of a risk is it at the outset when a casting director is putting you, Matthew, together? What do you do to kind of do, to, to um, enhance that chemistry? You know what's funny about that movie? I had approval of everything, which I think ended with me on that movie because I fought back on a lot of things on that. Um, you mean on other potential stars? That's right. Ooh. And. At one point, I was like, I, mean, I think everybody's amazing. I'm such a cheerleader for actors in our industry. But, but for rom-coms, it's like, I don't know. You need to have that guy, mm -hmm. you know, that, that it just felt, the chemistry felt right. And at the time, we just kept hitting our heads against a wall. And I kind of, the studio and I, you know, weren't agreeing. And I almost was like, I get it if you want to make this movie without me, but, and I, I'm fine, that's okay, you know? Um, and I remember Sherry Lansing at the time was like, well, okay, who do you want? And I was like, what about Matthew McConaughey? She's like, okay, well, let's see if Matthew McConaughey wants to do it. So I, we met and we hung out and Matthew then said yes and that was, and it was great, you know? And, and I, I think what happened was when I met Matthew was I was like, oh, yeah, like I wanna hang out with this guy. This feels like we had that energy together that I wanted to play, I wanted to play with him, you know? I mean, not like that. <laughs> uh, but I felt this sort of like energy that we, it, was, it felt kinetic. It was like, we were like, so, and some days what was so great and I think why Matthew and I both would love to probably work together again is we have like a competitive spirit together and you know we're both super athletic and we like to push each other and um, and I love Matthew's commitment to everything like he just puts everything in and I just I was like that's that's the energy and um, yeah and it, it it worked. It totally worked. And you, you got to do it again in four or five years later. Yeah. Um, what's it like when you work for a second time with a, with a person, with somebody? You've done it with him. You did it with Catherine Hahn, actually, where 
you know, do you develop a shorthand? Do you just slip straight back yeah. into the old way? Yeah, you definitely develop a shorthand. I mean, it was it was great too because at the time that I was doing Fool's Gold, mm -hmm. I was getting divorced and it was a really hard time for me. And to be on that set with Matthew was like, I, it was just the best. I remember my divorce had just finalized. If anybody's been through this before, it's not, it's an interesting moment. Um, and I was like, we were like, we were going on a boat out to the outer reef. It, I couldn't have been f on the further like point of the earth, you know, like, and like on a satellite phone, it's like your divorce went through and I'm like, okay. And I'm like, I didn't feel celebratory at all. It felt sad. And I was like looking out over the water and going, my God, my life, what does this mean? And I'm, oh, so I, my head and all of a sudden out of the top of the boat pops Matthew, shirtless. You ready, Hudson? And I was like, fuck yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do this. And so he was a big part of that for me in that movie. And, um, and uh, yeah, so that was, that, was, that was great. And there is a shorthand, for sure. You know, um, I know his ways. I know how he gets into stuff. I know how crazy it can get sometimes. I love his process. It's wild. Um, and, you know, he, like, goes over here to come back here, you know. But he's so razor, you know. He's like a, it's like a just razor focus. And um, yeah, he's he's really fun to work with. And and what you think he is, he is.